I thought that I would um, invite you on a stroll down memory lane with me tonight. I was going to um, tell you about Will's journey so far through life. I was going to tell you about his, his uh, first couple years and uh, kind of let you get to know us a little bit. And I didn't take any notes. I didn't know really where to begin. So I got his scrapbook out. And that way, um, Star Magic, you can see a few of my layouts too. I don't know how they're going to show up on camera. But um, maybe I'll take some pictures and stick them in here somewhere. But um, I had a, a good pregnancy, a stressful pregnancy. We um, lost our house to Hurricane Ivan when I was four months pregnant and had to move in with my mom and dad. So that, that was pretty stressful. Um, we had to live with them for almost a year. And... Um, I had I even had postpartum depression, but looking back, I think it was because of the the living situation and the the circumstances and all that. But um, so anyway, and we didn't think we could get pregnant. They told my husband that he had a better chance of hitting the lottery. So I got off birth control pills. I thought I was safe. So it was a surprise, and I was uh, really terrified at first. I think I called my mom crying my eyes out that night. I was so scared. But it ended up being the happiest day of my life. There, there we are. And it says, this was truly the happiest day of my life. See? I had been terrified of childbirth for as long as I can remember, but it was wonderful. And then when I saw your face, I knew you were the reason I was put on this earth. I love you. And then this tells about the hurricane, Ivan the Terrible. And uh, then we ended up getting a crook for a contractor, too. I should say his name, but I won't be ugly. Um, here's Will's first bath. And I uh, saved his little belly button stump. I told you I'm a very avid scrapbooker. And uh, I guess a little bit of a freak, too. He developed very normally. I won't sit and torture you through every layout, but um, your typical little baby, he hit. He was hitting all of his milestones. Um, the first thing, it's it's really hard for me to go back and remember a lot of this I'm, I'm finding because I'm looking at these pictures and I'm, I'm trying to think. The first memory that sticks out in my mind is when we went to see my husband's family. I think it was the first time we went and the baby just freaked out. I mean, he was terrified. My husband has a big family, so there's a lot of commotion, a lot of, uh, you know, visual stimuli, a lot of stimulation going on. And I had never seen the baby so upset. I mean, I think I was crying my eyes out too because he was, he was disturbed. You know, you could tell it wasn't just your average cry. And My husband's really laid back and nothing worries him. And he was even concerned. So, um, that's the first thing. But, you know, we're both first-time parents. So, and, you know, I guess he could have been not feeling well. But as it turned out, every time we would go there, he would act that way. So, um, and... He, it's better, it is better now. Now the past few times had been no problem, but for a while it was really, it was traumatic on all of us. And I'm, I'm, I think that was like, he must have been around eight months to a year, I'm thinking. Maybe six to eight months. Am I a good storyteller or what? But, um, so there was that. Uh, otherwise... You know, he was saying mama, dada, you know, as he got, I guess he was around eight months saying mama, dada. One time he even said helicopter, you know, pointing to a helicopter. He would wave. 
so I, uh, you know, I, I never, you know, I never thought anything was wrong. He did, after um, one set of his vaccinations, he had a terrible crying spell like that. Um, the devastated crying, just like he's in pain or something, that lasted for several hours. So, you know, of course, that always sticks out in my mind now. And uh, we did have his metals tested recently through our Dan doctor, and his mercury level was off the charts. So I'll have to get into that, because I'll, I'll get into that on a whole other video. Um, so I remember that time, and the times going to my husband's family's house. Uh, he was a late walker. Now this time really sticks out in my mind. This is Halloween 2005. Cute little pumpkin. Doesn't he look happy? He's not. This was one of the worst days of this little fellow's life. Um, my girlfriend Judy invited us over to her house to uh, hand out candy and, you know, little Halloween party. And, uh, you know, she had the whole place decorated to the hill. She was dressed as a scary witch. She came out, and when he saw her, he just lost it. And he had already been kind of, you know, uh, unsure, but that... And then the doorbell kept ringing, and it, I could, some, a little alarm somewhere in me might have been ringing that night. Like, I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be, because I think at this point, more and more things like that were starting to happen. Like, you know, when we would go to his family's house, and then the new places, too much, too much stimuli. And then, see, this is good for me to do because things are really starting to come back now. The first time I took him to Gymboree, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm saying when I say that Gymboree is uh, a parent's, an autistic child's parent's worst nightmare. Have any of you had this happen? Uh, you take them there and you see all these kids their age doing things they're supposed to be doing and it hits you. Hmm. But, you know, then you've got the family members and friends. He's a boy. Boys develop more slowly. They all go at their own pace. You know, little Tommy Thompson up the road didn't talk till he was four. So, you know, I, I hear this stuff all the time. And it's okay. I know people are trying to make me feel better and, uh, you know, ease my mind. But, uh, we all know those little alarms that go off in our head. And I'm thinking around that point, some alarms might have been starting to sound. And then, uh, we get to Christmas, his first Christmas. And, uh, here he is sitting on Santa Claus' lap. Santa Claus's lap. It's getting late, but um, that went okay. But I remember being pleasantly surprised that that went okay. Um, and I'm thinking at this point he wasn't responding to his name because I couldn't get him to look at the camera. I was having to to stand by the camera and make a total ass of myself, trying to get him to look at me, um, but he never did. 